Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah, can you believe that Christmas is right around the corner? I don't know about you, but I don't think I'm ready. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, let me get in check. Let me get in check. First of all, I want you to think about that one song from a child that just made you smile so much. Maybe it was the Chipmunks. Maybe it was the Little Drummer Boy or Silent Night. I don't know. But can I share my favorite song with you? My favorite song is by James Brown, Santa Claus Goes Straight to the Ghetto. Have you ever heard it before? Okay, let me give you a little example. Here we go. Santa Claus, ooh, go straight to the ghetto. Ooh. <laughs> I love that song. Me and my kids, we would always dance and scream and run around the house and the holidays were filled with joy and happiness and good smelling foods. But about seven and a half years ago, that all changed for me. My life went down a different road and the holidays just aren't like they used to be. Have you lost someone? in the past year, three years, five years, and it's just very hard for you to get through the holidays. Well, today I'm gonna give you some strategies of how to get through the holidays, and I wanna call this hope for the holidays. Now, the first through the third year that you actually lose a loved one, it's very, very challenging, especially if it's someone dear and close to you. So I'm never ever gonna tell you what to do. I'm not gonna tell you how to feel. I am gonna tell you to honor your feelings though. Definitely. If you want to stay in the house, stay in the house. If you want to go out, go out. The first year that my son was gone after he was murdered, I did not want to be around anybody. For the holidays, I just stayed in the house. Now, my daughter, on the other hand, she wanted to be around family to smile. So whatever fits best for you, that's what you want to do when it comes to that very first year. There's no right or there's no wrong. Now, when it comes to year three through five, you're kind of moving through. And I always say year two is going to be a lot harder than year one. I remember when someone told me that, I was like, how in the world can year two be harder than year one? Because in year one, it felt like I could barely breathe. And you're telling me it gets worse than this? So in year three through five, you're pushing through slowly. You're like, okay, you kind of have this. So I want to invite you to come up with some type of rituals for you and your family. And as I was preparing for this speech, I thought to myself, well, what do I do for the holidays to remember my son? And I actually don't do anything. And I think because he's always with me for his birthday and for his death anniversary, we do some huge event. So I'm always thinking about him, always doing stuff. But maybe you set a place at the table for that person. Maybe you light a candle. My grandmother, she used to always do that during the holidays or birthdays. She'd light a candle to remember that person. So year three through five, make up some type of ritual. And if you don't have one, it's okay. Maybe you start one today. And then you have year five through seven. Year five through seven, it's kind of settled some. What, wait a minute, are you doing the work? Let me, let me back it up first. Because if you're not doing the work, then nothing I say is going to help you. What does doing the work mean? Doing the work means meditation, journal, maybe exercising, being silent, being still, tapping into how you truly feel. Because the first few years, if you're anything like me, you're running, you're running. It's like, I don't want to feel it. I don't want to see it. It's just like, you don't want to think about it, right? So you're just constantly staying busy, 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 busy. You can't do that. You're not going to heal that way. You have to be still. You have to sit in those feelings and absorb them. And I know during the holidays, it's the hardest time in the world, right? So you're five through seven, if you're doing the work, it's going to get a lot easier. Trust me. I'm at year seven and a half right now. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I'm not saying that I'm 100% healed, but I am so much better than year one. So just to wrap up everything in a nice little bow for you, year one through three, do whatever you have to do. I'm going to give you one secret, one tip is make an escape word. So if you know you're going to an event and you make it emotional and cry and you want to leave, tell your family, well, the word is going to be unicorn. When you hear me say unicorn, that means I need to go. Give yourself permission to leave, okay? Year three through five, start making rituals, start making things to make your life a little bit easier. And then year uh, five through seven and on moving forward, it's gonna get a lot easier. I want you to help and support other people because hurt people hurt people, right? 
We already know that. But you got to start with forgiveness, forgiving yourself, forgiving that person. Because for me, I was kind of mad at my son a little bit, God a little bit. But now I am happy to say I am totally, totally, completely healed. And that happened today, by the way, just to let you know. So I created an event called Hope for the Holidays about three years ago during COVID because my son was an organ donor and the sharing network, every year they would have an event and they'd bring us by and they'd talk to us and they'd give us things to do during the holidays to help us out. And during COVID, I wasn't able to go. So I said, you know what? I'm going to make up my own event. So I've been doing it ever since. And this year, I do it a week before Thanksgiving because that's when the emotions start to pour in. You have Thanksgiving dinner, you have Christmas, you have New Year's Eve, you have New Year's Day. So during this event that we're having, you're going to get tips and strategies that you can work instantly to help you through those holidays. And to give you an idea of some of the things you're going to learn, we're going to have a party afterwards. We're going to have a gingerbread building party. So make sure you bring your graham crackers, your icing, your candy, all those goody things. Because even though it's a sad time for some of us, it's, we can turn that sadness into, into I don't want to say happiness, but better feelings, easier feelings, so you're not struggling. I don't want you surviving during the holidays. I don't want you on a ball on the couch. I don't want you crying all day long. Yes, you will cry. Yes, it will hurt. It'll feel like someone's stabbing you in the chest. But trust me, you will get better. It does get easier. So join me. Join all of my family, all my friends as we help you, as we support you, empower you, as we give you the tools to get through this holidays. I am Stars Tina. I cannot wait to see you at the gingerbread house building party as well as the Hope for the Holidays event. Thank you. Mm -hmm.